At 1% growth, renewable sources of energy can meet some of our domestic demand. But at 3 or 4% growth, which I expect, we need all forms of available American energy, or our country. will be at grave risk of brownouts and blackouts. Our businesses will come to a halt in many cases, and the American family will suffer the consequences in the form of lost jobs and a very diminished quality of life. Even if the Paris Agreement were implemented in full, with total compliance from all nations, it is estimated it would only produce a two-tenths of one degree. Think of that. This much Celsius reduction in global temperature by the year 2100. Tiny, tiny amount. In fact, 14 days of carbon emissions from China alone would wipe out the gains from America, and this is incredible statistic, would totally wipe out the gains from America's expected reductions in the year 2030. After we have had to spend billions and billions of dollars, lost jobs, closed factories, and suffered much higher energy costs for our businesses and for our homes. As the Wall Street Journal wrote this morning, the reality is that withdrawing is in America's economic interest and won't matter much to the climate. The United States under the Trump administration will continue to be the cleanest and most environmentally friendly country on Earth will be the cleanest. We're going to have the cleanest air. We're going to have the cleanest water. We will be environmentally friendly. But we're not going to put our businesses out of work. We're not going to lose our jobs. We're going to grow. We're going to grow rapidly. And I think you just read, it just came out minutes ago, the Small Business Report. Small businesses, as of just now, are booming. Hiring people, one of the best reports they've seen in many years. I'm willing to immediately work with Democratic leaders to either negotiate our way back into Paris under the terms that are fair to the United States and its workers, or to negotiate a new deal that protects our country and its taxpayers. So if the obstructionists want to get together with me, let's make up non-obstructionists. We will all sit down and we will get back into the deal and we'll make it good and we won't be closing up our factories and we won't be losing our jobs and we'll sit down with the Democrats and all of the people that represent either the Paris Accord or something that we can do that's much better than the Paris Accord. And I think the people of the country will be thrilled and I think then the people will be thrilled. But until we do that, we're out of the agreement. I will work to ensure that America remains the world's leader on environmental issues, but under a framework that is fair and where the burdens and responsibilities are equally shared among the many nations all around the world. No responsible leader can put the workers and the people of their country at this debilitating and tremendous disadvantage. The fact that the Paris deal hamstrings the United States while empowering some of the world's top polluting countries should dispel any doubt as to the real reason why foreign lobbyists 
wish to keep our magnificent country tied up and bound down by this agreement. It's to give their country an economic edge over the United States. That's not going to happen while I'm president, I'm sorry. 